Davenport woman facing charges after a string of racist remarks on a city bus speaks up tonight. She says her language was justified. We first told you about this story last night. That incident happened more than a month ago. The video from the bus shows one passenger punching this woman, and she responded by yelling racial slurs. It is tonight's top story. Local force Grace Runkel joins us live in our studio with what she's saying. Grace? Jim Tiffany, the woman who was punched read out, reached out to us and said last night we didn't tell the whole story. She says now she's receiving threats, so she didn't want to show her face or share her name. But she says what she did was okay. Today, we asked her why. Bye. A punch from one passenger followed by a string of racist remarks from this woman. Would you change anything about that, about your reaction? I would have changed. I would have done it a little bit different. You know, I probably may not have used that word, but I can't say for sure that I wouldn't. The woman says it all started before she got on the bus when a group of younger passengers pushed in front of her. She says they were swearing at her and calling her racist names. I am totally against bullying. But someone might construe what you did almost as bullying too. They can say that, but it was in reaction to what she did to me. Davenport police charged her with disorderly conduct for shouting abusive epithets and making threatening gestures. But the woman stands by what she did. So you think it was justified? I do think it was justified very well. Even though you're now facing charges for what happened? I am fighting the charges. I just got busted in the face by some black teenager. You hear a lot of times to kind of turn the other cheek or treat others how you want to be treated, you feel like your actions were justified, but do you think those things play into that at all? Um, I understand that. The um, thing is, is that I wouldn't want someone to hit me, so I wouldn't hit somebody. The woman says she apologizes to the other people on the bus, but not to the passenger who hit her. Police identified her yesterday. They haven't released her name or what charges she faces. In the studio, Grace Runkle, Local 4 News.